Uh, we've been talking about the politicization or lack thereof inside the, the Department of Justice. And Hunter Biden, who is now facing sentencing uh, in, a, in a tax case and a gun case, his lawyers are arguing that part of why he's facing this is because these charges wouldn't have been pursued against someone who wasn't the president's son. Do you think President Biden should pardon Hunter Biden? So let's go back to first the selective prosecution point. Um, and there, there is a defense called selective prosecution if you can show that the government has uh, a set of cases that all look alike, but they pick one person out to prosecute based on, uh, say, a political animus towards the person, which essentially is the claim that Donald Trump has been making about right. why he was targeted. Um, and so th there are lots of claims of political prosecution and political And was Hunter politically Well, I mean, obviously that's a judicial point, and you've got to look at what the evidence is, and I don't know yeah, enough so should, about So should the president cases. pardon him? I mean, again, that is a unilateral uh, executive power, you know, power that... Uh, and should is, he use it? <laughs> well, you know, the, the power exists for the president to show mercy for people who have... Uh, committed crimes and either suffered some kind of injustice in the process or uh, the... And do you think Hunter has? I mean, the punishment the president is disproportionate. I mean, I haven't even remotely looked at it. I mean, I, I, I know basically what the alleged crimes were. One was when he was filling out a form about whether yeah. he was... I get the sense you're not going to answer my question. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I don't know the answer now. I'm not okay. in the pardon office, but I, it does give me the opportunity to say there's a process for doing this sure. with a pardon attorney and it sh they shouldn't be passed out like Oreo cookies. Like Oreo cookies. Okay, fair yeah. enough. Uh, so before I let you go, uh, I need to ask you, do you think Jerry Nadler is the right person to lead the uh, Democrats on the House Judiciary Committee, or are you interested in stepping up for the job? Oh, Gene, uh, Jerry Nadler is a, a great leader and a great friend of mine, and obviously we're just going through discussions within our caucus about who's going to be in different positions at this point. But I have great Are you ruling it out? In admiration for Jerry Nadler, I really do. Are you ruling out possibly saying, hey, I would like to be ranking member on judiciary? We're just getting back into that now as we form the steering and policy committee. So I'm not ruling anything out at this point. And we're engaged in conversations um, all with the purpose of creating a strategic focus and capacity within the Democratic uh, members of the House so that we're going to be a really effective and muscular opposition. We've got to right. win the House back in 2026.